Today I'm going to show you how to back up all the files on your Mac using Time Machine and El Capitan. Time Machine is Apple's built-in software that will back up everything on your computer. This is really helpful for a few reasons. One, uh, if your computer is getting old and the hard drive is starting to fail, then you have a backup just in case your computer crashes. So when or if it ever does crash, you can plug in your Time Machine backup and it will restore all of your data just as it was before the hard drive failure occurred. That is also good for those moments uh, just in case you might have accidentally deleted a file that you need. Uh, you can just use the Time Machine to go back in time and retrieve that file. It is also good to have a backup to protect against theft. If your backup is current and somehow your computer happens to get stolen, then at least your data is safe. So to get started, you will need a few things. First, you will need an external hard drive that is larger than your computer's current hard drive, and it has to be the correct format for it to work. Usually, if the backup drive is double the size of your internal hard drive, that is the best, because when backing up your computer's hard drive, you want to make sure that you're not going to run out of space anytime soon, so doubling it is a good way to make sure of that. If you happen to run out of space, then Time Machine will automatically start deleting the oldest backup in order to create more space. Okay, so let's get to it. First off, plug in your backup hard drive to your Mac. If it is already formatted correctly, a message will pop up asking if you want to use this drive as a Time Machine backup. Normally you would just say yes, but I will show you how to manually set it up anyways. If your hard drive is not formatted correctly, I can put a link in the description below to a video on how to change the format of your hard drive. We are going to need to open up System Preferences, so go to the top left corner and click the Apple logo, and from the drop down menu, select System Preferences. Next, click the Time Machine logo, and then click the button under the Time Machine logo so that it is turned on. This will bring up the option to select which disk we want to back up to. Select your external drive which will always be the orange drive and mine is currently named G drive. If you want your backup to be encrypted click the encrypt backups button. This will make your external drive password encrypted so that anyone who tries to access your backups will need the correct password to gain access. Then click use disk. You will notice that a countdown has started to show you when the next backup will start. If this is your first backup that you've ever done using Time Machine, this process will take quite a while, and it might even take 24 hours. So if you're planning on using the computer, I would cancel the backup by clicking the off button, and then maybe right before bed, turn it on, and it will do the backup process overnight when the computer is not being used. Or, if you don't want to wait, you can tell the backup to start now from the top menu, and it will automatically start. If plugging in a hard drive whenever you want to back up your computer is not for you, Apple makes something called a time capsule, which is a network router that has a hard drive built into it. This is great because it will wirelessly back up your computer whenever your computer is connected to the network, so it totally gets rid of the cords. Time Machine also gives you the option to exclude things from your backup. So if for some reason you didn't want to back up your computer's music or pictures folder because they were stored securely somewhere else, you can click the Options button, and then from there you can click the plus sign, and here you can select whatever items you want to exclude from your backup. So, this has been a quick overview of how to back up your Mac using Time Machine on El Capitan. Thanks for watching.